hello welcome back to Twitter think and in this video I'll be taking you through some simple differential functions and I'll teach you how to differentiate them these are just examples that I am picking I have done an introduction to basic differentiation or general differentiation and that video will help you to understand how to differentiate various types of functions if you haven't seen it please go to the playlist um, general uh, mathematics to find that video uh, introduction to general differentiation or you can also locate this video in the playlist engineering math 2 uh, introduction to general differentiation that playlist contain further questions under differential function specifically for um, engineering students so please let's start with this one so the first example we have y equals x squared plus 2x plus 1. We learned how to differentiate a function of this form in the introduction video. You need to look at that one before you tackle these examples if you have a problem with this. So now I'm differentiating y with respect to this variable which is x. I'm differentiating y with respect to x. So we call it dy dx. So I have my dy dx equals now when i differentiate this two times this we are having what two x reduce the power by one we'll get what we are getting two x plus when i differentiate this i'm getting what two and then the differential of a constant here is what zero so this is our result so now let's move to question number two okay so we have y equals minus two x cubed plus six x squared minus ten x plus one now to differentiate this, we just differentiate the function term by term, like the way I did this one. Differentiate this one first, you move on here, and so on. So we have our dy dx equals, now if you differentiate minus 2x cubed, the result is minus 6x squared. Why? Use this 3 to multiply this. We are having minus 6x reduce this power by one subtract one from the exponent remember if you want the introduction you see that this rule is there so i have x squared plus two times this six we are having what 12 x is the power two minus one which is the same as one giving us 12 x then we have an exponent here which is one one times ten we are having minus ten now reduce the power by one one minus one will give us minus 10 x raised to the power zero anything to power zero is one so one times 10 will give us what 10. now we move on to the constant differential of a constant is zero so there's no need for me to write that this is my final result now let's move on to the third example now for this one i cannot just differentiate straightforward because i have two product functions here i just need to expand this and um, get one straight linear function then i can differentiate there is no need for me to use product rule for this example those of you who knows about product rule in differentiation so let me just expand this one so use 4 to multiply everything here when you are done use x squared to also multiply so this is giving us 4 times this we are having 8x 4 times 1 we are having plus 4 then x squared times 2x we are having plus um, 2x raised to the power 3 remember that the power here is 1 so when you multiply it 1 plus 2 will give you 3 then x squared times 1 we are getting plus x squared and this is y now arrange the equation in descending order from the highest power to the least so my y will be equal to i'll start with this one 2x to power 3 plus x squared plus 8x then finally plus 4 and this is it so now we have y to be this we can now differentiate it so therefore dy dx equals now 3 times 2 you have 6 x reduce the power by 1 3 minus 1 you have 2 let's move on to the next term we have 2 2 times this x which is the one in front of the s we have 2 x 
reduce the power by one it is still x is the power one so you leave it there we move on to this plus one times eight we have eight one minus one x to power zero x to power zero is one the one times the eight will give you eight then plus the constant differential of a constant is zero so plus zero is nothing so just forget about the zero this is your final result so we are having 6x squared plus 2x plus 8. As simple as that. So this is the end of this video. My name is Daniel. Please subscribe to this channel if you have been shared these videos, if it has been very useful to you. And I will see you in the next one.